Hi, it's uh, Deborah from DebraConrad.com. I know you can't see my face today, but I'm going to try to show you how I do shrink wrapping. Uh, this is my cheap version. I don't use a shrink wrap machine. It's someday I might, but uh, I'm trying to keep my costs as low as possible. And this stuff is, seems expensive, but it lasts forever. Um, I've shrink wrapped many many things and uh, it's still got half a roll left and um, so it's it's from the restaurant supply place ours locally is called smart and final and I like it I got the smaller version that didn't have this because it was cheaper but um, this is this is my preferred uh, size box because it has this little slider thing and when you pull out you can just, it, ha it has two punch holes right here, so you can just grab the uh, saran wrap-like material, pull it out as far as you need it, and then just cut. And I'll show you now how I shrink wrap up my um, collectible toy, or collectible games that I send into Amazon so that I'm not taping them and damaging, you know, I have to take tape off of the box and there's a little residue right here, which uh, is from the, the tape. I used some Goo Gone to get that off and spread a little on there and then just rub a little bit. I could feel a little bit of it. And then wipe really good. And that's pretty good. So, I'm hoping that you can see this whole process with my video camera. I'm pulling out a pretty large section, pretty long section. Uh, it's kind of like gauging how much gift wrap you need. And then I set the box just like that on there, right on the film. And it's not real, real, real sticky um, as far as um, when you lay it out on a table like this, it seems to not grab, um, it, you know, right away like saran wrap usually does. It makes a ball. Uh, it can, but it doesn't, it seems to be easy to manage. And then I slide off and cut, and then I come right across like this. Now, I wrap it just like a gift wrap. You could cut this off if you want it, didn't want the excess. Um, I don't take the time to do that. And I try to stretch it out as much as I can. And I just kind of fold it over like that and peel it up. Now you can see that it has stuck, but that's not gonna stay. That's not gonna stay stuck well. So, um, and I, I don't tape, um, I just use my heat gun. Uh, you can hear that it was kind of noisy, so it's going to get a little noisy. You probably won't be able to hear me, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. This is a heat gun that you use um, for crafting. Uh, it's called an embossing heat gun, and you can you get all kinds of heat guns. I had this one, so I didn't have to buy one. They cost about between $15 and $20 um, on Amazon. And this one is, is by uh, Marvy. I've seen it. It's called a Marvy heat tool. And um, it doesn't get uh, burn your fingers hot right away. Um, and it's always cool to the touch here. There's no metal. You can... Okay, that's... Uh, um, you could see I was just kind of rubbing across it and making sure it was sealed down and that's not peeling off anytime but it's not taped it's really easy for somebody to grab this and unwrap it it's not going to frustrate them and then up across the top here I smooth out across there's you know where it catches right here And then I'll do the other side, and then I always go across the front as well. And you can see that this keeps it nice and clean, as you know, as clean as a used or a collectible toy could be. Up in the front. 
out. Okay, so you can see that that looks you know, pretty good. It does not look like a new shrink wrap toy, so don't try to think that I'm doing this to pass this off as new. This does not look like new shrink wrap. It, it, it has little bunches down here, um, but and obviously it's not new, but the presentation is really good for a customer to get something that looks like this. It's clean inside, it's neat, and it's clean on the outside. It, it just looks nice, and so I spend that time. Now, I, that took a little longer than it normally does because I'm showing you how, so I can do this in less than a minute, and, it, and to me, it's worth it, and I've had compliments on Amazon in my uh, you know comment section uh, for things that I have sold recommending me as a seller so um, you know I, I can't dispute the fact that this this might help so uh, good luck in your shrink wrap if you have any questions you can contact me at Deborah at DebraConrad.com